welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm going to do my rankings from of all the Marvel movies that I already saw and which one uh, and which one is my least favorite to my favorite one. So uh, to start off, we're going to do from 22 all the way to number one. Number 22 is Incredible Hulk because like the first half of the movie it was really good but like after I think the second at the end it was kind of like it was it was it was okay Iron Man 3 uh that one was okay I mean it's not it's not the it was the villain the villain was uh I didn't like the villain but and but there was some good stuff in there, but I just didn't like the villain in Iron Man 3. Um, the next one would be Thor The Dark World. So that would be number 20. Uh, this one is probably one of the, now one of the most uh, important movies in MCU. Since, um, since in Avengers Endgame, if you haven't... Uh, See Avengers in game. This is a spoiler. They go back. They go back in time to to Thor: The Dark World uh, and get the ether. And what this is the this is one of the important movies that is not like the best one, but it's important. I already I rewatched it uh, yesterday and. I, that's why I put it in number 20. Number 19 is Iron Man 2. Uh, I really liked it. Um, the villain was 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 great in this one. Um, what is what I can't be rewatch maybe, but uh, probably once rewatching. Oh, I'll probably watch it once once. Uh, so, uh, in Iron Man 2, um, they change in this. They change um, the guy that plays Rhodey in the first one to Don Cheadle in this one. And I really like the, I really like the guy, the the guy that played Rhodey in the first one as well. But the, Don Cheadle is good as well. Uh, Guardian of the Galaxy one is number eighteen. Um, I, I liked it when it first came out, but after that, it was, it was, it was okay. And Guardians, Guardians Galaxy 2, um, is really, is good, is really good. A lot of humor, a lot of, uh, some, there was some action, but a lot of humor and all that kind of stuff. Um, Thor. I really like Thor. I like I really like the first Thor. Um, the basically the uh, origin story of Thor and how he became the how be, how he became the superhero and this and I really like how they did it. Um, Ant Man is number fifteen. Um, I really like Ant Man. Ant Man is really. F Iron Man was really fun. Is a really funny movie, but and it does have a lot. Of, it does have action and a lot of humor, which I like in this movie. Um, the next one is uh, Avengers: Age of Ultron, number fourteen, which is kind of interesting. I put number fourteen because there's other movies that uh, that I like more. Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron is. And it's a pretty good Avengers movie, but it's, but there's probably some um, holes, hole plot holes that that should be filled as well. Um, the villain Ultron as the villain was great. Um, they introduced Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, and Quicksilver. Basically, dies in this movie as well. In this one, um, 
action sequence is good. Um, um, the humor that you need in there is good. The next one is number 13 is Doctor Strange. I really like this movie as well. Um, I watched it several times after several times after I watched it the first time in theaters and it was like I like to feel it was dark and like because it was like mystic like all the mystic elements of magic and all that kind of stuff and there wasn't there was the villain was good but it wasn't good enough I wish it was like a it was uh, the my take of the villain the villain in my opinion the villain was should be a little bit darker a little bit more um, mean and all and stuff and like at the the villain at the very end uh, when Doctor Strange I come to bargain uh, I wish I don't know I wish there was a fight scene on that one too as well but that's just me Spider-Man Homecoming uh, I put that at number 12 because like it's I I liked it I like Homecoming but when I but the next time I watched it it was on it was Unwatch, unrewatchable because it was slow and I was, I was getting, I was tired of watching it. There was a lot. I like, like, I like how Tony and Tony is mentoring uh, Peter Parker in this movie and becoming, try to become Spider Man. The and you see them having that, having a good relationship with each other. So, from Civil War into this movie, which is nice. Uh, just the homecoming is just slow and probably uh, it's unrewatchable in my opinion. Next one is number eleven, Ant Man the Was. I just saw this movie last summer and man, it was a it was a really good movie. Um, this is this this one's an important movie as well, leading up to. In game, and the end credits. I like the end credits. I like the 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 team team um, teamwork with Wasp and Ant Man. They're working together. I like that. Next one, number ten, is Captain America. I like the origin origin story of Captain America in this one. Um. I like how he was. They, it, at first, they started with a skinny. He was his body. He was a thin. He was sk thin and skinny. He didn't have any, like he wasn't strong, but. But the relationship with uh, Bucky and <laughs> with Steve Roger, who basically Captain America, in this movie, is. Is really good. And like the action, the action sequence at first, at the at first, was pretty good for this movie, but it it evolves into the next Captain America movie. And like the relation, I like the relationship Peggy Carter and Steve Rogers as well in this movie. The next one is number nine, Iron Man. This one was my favorite Iron Man movie out out of the three. I like the or this is another origin story where he becomes like a, a drug like a drug addict playboy person who who is rich and he 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 wants to do others he wants to do other bad the other stuff but later he he was in the desert and he was stranded in there and he has to find a way to get out of there because there was because the bad guy got caught him and the the 
the bad guy you see, the first guy, the bad guy you see first is not the true villain. Um, but I like how he was in the cave and he was and he has a guy that he was he was working with and they were working together and trying to figure out a way to get out of the, out of the cave. And then late, and like when he comes back home, the relationship with Rhodey and Tony Stark in this movie really hits you hard. Um, and like the, I like, I like how when he was testing the Iron Man suit, not the not the the one in the cave, but when he went when he went back to uh, California and he was he was testing it and. He was in that was a, one of the best uh one of the best scenes and there was another one where it was a red Iron Man suit and he they were putting it together and that music that to put into when they put it together was awesome as well. And the action the action sequence is good, really good. And the villain, um Obadiah I mean, he was one of the baddest villain in during that during by during that time in the MCU. Um, next one, number eight was is Captain Marvel. I really like Captain Marvel. Um, some people some people think some people have their own opinion. They don't, some people didn't like it, but I really I really like it. I, I like uh, their take their their twist of the origin story. Um, because they, they they just basically use comic book and as inspiration they probably take some some bits of it and put it in the in the movie but after that they just use their own creative uh, thoughts and put it their own way you know like Captain Marvel one the strongest MCU hero out there um, I like the relationship with Carol Danvers and Nick Fury and um, Maria Rambo. Uh, love humor. Uh, there was some action in this one. For, just for the start of Captain Marvel, I think that's pretty good for her start. Uh, next one, number seven, would be Thor Ragnarok. Uh, I really like this movie. I saw it twice I think twice or three times and I, I liked I liked how they changed Thor because the first two movie it was it was like it was dark but this one they changed it and they have a new director Taika Waititi did uh, his take on Thor and I like how there was a lot of humor but with a lot of action uh, Um, and like the relation, then I mean, you get to see Hulk and Thor together, and that would be that was nice fighting each other. Cause the last time we saw them fighting each other was at Avengers One, and we see like new characters, and you see Hela, the villain, the villain Hela, just 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 killing like. A lot of people in Asgard, and like you get to, in this movie, you get to see uh, some Matt Damon as like a Loki actor play in this one, which is fun, which is funny as well. There's a lot of funny moments in this one. Next one, number six, is Black Panther. I really like Black Panther, uh, the first African origin story of Black Panther. Um, I like how we get to, well, next, the next movie I will talk about, they'll, they introduce him in, uh, the next movie I will talk about, that I will be talking about, but the action sequence, uh, the villain, uh, Killmonger was one of the best villains besides Thanos. Um, T'Challa was good. Um, Shuri, you get to see Shuri, Okoye. They were good in this movie as well. Like all the action sequence and the the humor jokes was on point in this movie as well. Um, next one, number five, is Civil War. Civil War, 
Really liked it. You get in this movie, you get to in, get to introduce with Black Panther and Spider Man before they got their own movie, which I which I really like. The trailer for this movie was was insane. It was awesome, and I like how uh, the the half of the Avengers is playing the bad guy role, and half of the other uh, Avengers playing good guy. So it's like, and like. The action sequence is the fighting. Fighting scenes are really, really, really amazing. Really epic. Um, you get to see more of the relationship of Bucky and Steve, and like how Tony Stark finds out who kills his parent, his mo uh, mom and dad in the past. And that the three the two one battle with Bucky and Cap face and fighting against Iron Man, and then um, yeah, and then the airport scene was really good as well. You could see uh, Iron Man's team versus Captain America's team and fighting against each other, who who was right, who was wrong, and all that kind of, and all kind of stuff. That was really good. Number. F which was Civil War it was dark as well. Civil War was dark, um, but have a lot of action and a little bit of humor as well. Number four is Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier, one it was one the best I think the best Captain America movie ever. Um, you you get. Uh, you get a new t take of Captain America. You get to see his new fighting skills. You get to see Cap Steve Rogers and Natasha working together, and then you get to introduced by uh, Sam Wilson, uh, Falcon, in this movie. Cause and this is this movie takes place before Age of Ultron. Um, Think so, pretty sure. Um, then you see some cameos of Joe Russo in this movie. You see a lot of the elevator fighting scene, and that was awesome too. Uh, Bucky versus Cap in this movie as well, in the on the highway. At, and that was awesome as as well. Um. Number three is the first Avengers. I really like this movie, and was it's still rewatchable, guys. So, just saw it yesterday, last night as well, and it was really good. Um, love just the com the just the combination of the first phase, first phase of the Avengers, and seeing Tony. Steve, uh, Thor, uh, really having a, having their, having their relationship, uh, not like relationship, but like getting to know each other and like when the fight scenes between Iron Man and Thor, that was awesome too. And the fight scene against Cap. And Loki, real it was good too. But the what the fight scene in New York was better, was really be was better, because that the first two was just the beginning. It was like a, the first one was like a, like a, breakfast, and the second one was a lunch. Then the third one, the well, the third one was the fight against fight, of the well it wasn't really a fight, but. But I would say the last one, the New York one, was the dinner. And because there was like uh, Loki's army versus the Avengers. And they do the panorama circle thing around the Avengers. That was awesome. They had the Avengers theme song going on on that part of the fight scene. That was really good. And just the, the characters... Uh, like 
getting to know each other and working together and all the kind of, all the kind of stuff and like the intro to the movie was awesome with the when they were in I think they were in New Mexico or something I'm not sure and like you see Loki controlling the so this movie they have this movie has two two infinity stones the tesseract which is the space stone and the scepter is the mind stone one and and like and late in loki is controlling um uh, controlling uh clint barton who hawkeye's mind in the beginning and like two others and they and they Sorry, shoot! They started fighting, and then, then when, uh, then like um, when, Sim when Nick Fury said, um, "This is a, we're 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 at, we're at war," and then the logo comes on. That was awesome too. And the uh, when Black Widow was interrogating with Brett the Russian, that was that fight scene was pretty cool too but at the end at the end credit you get to see Thanos like he was he just like he was someone was talking to him I think it was one of his uh one of his uh servants or whatever and he turns around and he smiles like that he smiles and he was he, that was all that was awesome second one Avengers Infinity War. This is uh, rewatchable, guys. Uh, a lot of uh, combination of 21 MCU movies together. All these heroes that we know and love from the first Iron Man all the way to that movie is awesome. You get to see the interaction with Tony and Peter Parker. Tony and Doctor Strange together in this movie, and then you then um, then like Cap, Captain America, Black Widow, Falcon, um, working together in Scarlet Witch and Vision relationship. Um, and I like the introduction to this movie because it starts really dark, like like the logo when the Marvel Studios logo comes on no, they're like this is the Asgardian spaceship we need what we need a uh, assistant or whatever whatever and then like you see Thanos's ship and you see all these uh, blasts coming going through the Asgardian spaceship and like and you see bodies flying down because Thanos Thanos is in his uh, Thanos in his uh, Black Order, uh, Proxy of Midnight, o Oblison, um, Corbis Glaive, and um, the guy that um, I can't think of his name. Um, but you know what I'm talking about, the other guy. Uh, then, like, you see, then they start with. Thanos killing Heimdall, which Heimdall was an okay character in, in Thor, but Thor, that was Thor's one of his great friends. And then you see Thanos basically break, breaking Loki's neck, and you can hear it, and that, that hurt. And like that's when Thor's life changed, well, basically changed after the kind of Thor Dark World after his mom died then his th dad died and uh, I don't know it was it Thor Ragnarok or Thor, Thor Dark World or something but that changed Thor basically and the Russo brothers did a great job on their own version of Thor which I really like and we get to see Hulk versus Thanos and Hulk getting beat by Thanos and in like then, then you get to see the logo when uh, Hulk lands into the Sanctorum in Doctor Doctor Strange in New York City, and you see uh, 
Bruce saying, he's coming, he's coming. And then Dr. Train is like, ooh, and you see the logo come out and you hear that music, and that was awesome. And I like the act, the action sequence in this one is so, is so good. And I like how they, they introduce, like, if you're in the uh, Guardian Galaxy and they enter space, you, they basically put the music on, they like slowly, 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 they they're like smooth, they let you ease it into the, ease it into the next scene. And like the battle of Wakanda was awesome, and how Thor lands in Wakanda and you hear that Avengers theme song. And then you see then when Thanos fights um, uh, the Iron Man crew and Titan. You see Iron Man versus Thanos and Doctor Strange versus Thanos and the group together versus Thanos and that was awesome too. And then yeah, then you see the in Wakanda you see all the Black Warrior versus the wild dogs together and all that kind of stuff which is awesome and like the end of Avengers Infinity War hurt it hurt I mean it hurt your soul like because all your most of your favorite characters are dusted and and um, that hurt and then like the end credit scene of Captain Marvel you see Samuel you see Nick Fury uh, playing, uh, contacting Captain Marvel with the pager, and he 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 get it dusted, and he flip in the pager has the Captain Marvel logo. Everybody was static. Everybody was so excited. That was in, and that Avengers Infinity that that ending so takes your soul away. Then number one, Avengers Endgame. I saw it three times now. I saw it Thursday, last Thursday night, Friday, and this past fr Friday. And I really, really like this movie. Um, there, were, I like how it uh, it start with Clint. Okay, if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame, spoiler alert on this one. Big time, big time spoiler. Clint Barton, his family is dusted, and he's, he's like, he's, he's, he's mad. He's mad, and then you, you hear thunder, and you go, and like, you see the black screen, and you see, the Marvel Studios logo, and they have that nice song where it's like, somewhat, it's like a, it's, it's the end. It's the end of, uh, the. It's the end of the Avengers, those the core Avengers. And I like how there was a lot of humor, a lot of action, um, a lot of sad moments. You cry in this movie. You cry in this movie. And I like the time travel thing because it brings you back to the, to the previous movie. This one, they have Avengers, New York Battle, Guardian, Guardian Galaxy 1, Mora, Thor the Dark World, Volmir, which is, um, 2014, but, 2014, um, I think, uh, I think that's it, I'm not sure, I think that's pretty much where they went, though, they went to 1970 New Jersey as well, and they get this, and their task is to get this, Stone as well, and the fight scene. The okay, the fight scene between Black Will and and Hawkeye. It was like hard. It was hard because we were trying. We don't know who who's gone. Sacrifice somebody. Sacrifice themselves to get the uh, stone. One stones in line. And then once they come back, once Clint come back, you air the. The core Avenger is just now shocked that she's gone. We don't know what to do and all that kind of stuff. Everybody was angry. And then we get to the battle scene of Thor, Cap, and Iron Man versus Thanos. A three on one battle. That was awesome. Cause we, cause those are the three core Avengers. And then 
the basically the final battle scene, you see Cap facing the Ar Thanos' army by himself, and then you then you get all then like something uh, Sam does call, calling Cap, and you see uh, this portal coming. The portal, okay, the portal's music is spectacular. Is one one epic, is probably the epic music I've ever heard. Bes besides the Avengers theme song, this one combined with the the take the new take of the Avengers theme song from Infinity War and this one, man, it's so it's so good. And then you see all these heroes coming back from the portal, and these and then after that. They start fighting, they start fighting, they start fighting, and like, at the end, it, it gets really sad, but in the beginning, at the middle of the act two, at the end of uh, act two, it gets, it's sad. Act one, it's sad. Act three, is sad. So all the acts are sad. But between, but besides those sadness, there's always a lot, there's humor between, in the, you know, like, there's all action sequence. There's Cap versus Cap, there's, all that stuff. So number one is Avengers Endgame. Go and watch it again soon. This time, I want. I need to watch it in 3D because I heard 3D was good. So uh, those are my rankings of my favorite to my least favorite MCU movie. Um. So. Hope you guys like this video. I know it's kind of long now. It's, it's long. But hope you guys like this video. Subscribe. Put down comments below what your ranking from the 22 movies of your list. And I'll see you guys next time.